Ladies and gentlemen, your host, Bob Barker. Welcome to the beautiful Miami Convention Center, and if you'll stay right there, I can promise you an exciting evening. 79 of the most beautiful young women in the world, with one of them being chosen Miss Universe 1985 by a panel of celebrity judges. Also, the talents of musical superstar John Denver add to all that the vitality and unpredictability that accompany the most special word in television, live, and you have the 34th annual Miss Universe pageant. And as it all happens, you and I get to enjoy the charming company of Knott's Landing's Valine Ewing, Joan Van Ark. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bob? You know what? It gives me goosebumps to think about it, but did you know that there are some 700 million people estimated to watch tonight's pageant? That's right, and since all of them would like another look at our contestants, they're going to get it right now. Good. The preliminary swimsuit competition was held on this stage during the past week. What we're about to see is a special swimsuit fashion segment, which was taped at some of the most picturesque and colorful locations in the Miami area. The young ladies tonight are wearing specially designed swimsuits by Catalina, and it will all be described by the handsome gentleman right here on my right, Mr. Bob Barker. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. Arriving at the Port of Miami with the city skyline in the background is the MS Holiday of the Carnival Lines. It's here that our fashion show begins, and it's here that our young ladies really took over. We found the skipper on the bridge, on the console, and on the phone. She's Miss USA Lauda Herring with Tharn Thip Pong Soup, Miss Tyler. The rail is a sunning spot for Miss Panama, Janet Vasquez. This charming crew member is Miss U.S. Virgin Islands, Mudit Alda Henderson. The ship's round pool is a meeting place for Miss Wales, Barbara Christiane, and Beverly Ocampos, Miss Paraguay. Three lovely ladies who sit up and take notice are Miss Trinidad Tobago, Brenda Joy Fahey, Mardia Keenanen, Miss Finland, and Miss Luxembourg, Gabi Chiarini. What do pretty lookouts see? Other pretty lookouts. Here are Miss Western Samoa, Helen Tracy Mahalovic, and Miss Holland, Bridget Bergman. We move from the cruise ship to the coast of Miami Beach and the fountains at the Fountain Blue Hilton Hotel, where we join Miss Costa Rica, Rosibel Chacon, and Malena Stengel Tamayo, Miss Ecuador. From the fountains, we move across the hotel grounds to the pool, and there we find rocks, waterfalls, and palm trees, providing a beautiful background for Miss Malaysia, who is Agnes Chin. From behind the trees, we greet Miss Senegal, Chantal Lubello, and Miriam Adams, who is Miss Turks and Caicos. Pool in front, waterfall in back, and in between is Miss Peru, Maria Gracia Galeno. By this catamaran, we find two beauties, Miss Yugoslavia, Inka Delic, and in a lemon neon suit, Andrea Lopez, Miss Uruguay. The beach umbrella falls to reveal Miss Gibraltar, Karina Hollins, and Claire Glenister, who is Miss New Zealand. The beach ball, not the shamrock, leads us to Miss Ireland, Olivia Tracy. The cargo on this popcorn cart is Lucy Carbolito Montinola, Miss Guam. And sitting in this fancy beach chair is Miss Poland, Katarina Zawitska. This park in the shadow of Florida's famous Highway I-95 is named for Cuban patriot Jose Marti. And in her pony print suit, we meet Miss Italy, Beatrice Papi. And Sonia Walia, Miss India. Relaxing in front of a park waterfall is Susan Rasmussen, Miss Denmark, along with two Latin lovelies, Deborah Carthy Du, Miss Puerto Rico, and Miss Bolivia, Gabriela Orozco Ruiz. On the edge of this pool, we find Miss Bayliss, Jenny Woods. A young lady from an old country, Miss Greece, Sabina Damianidis, turns her attention to Miss Curacao, Shaida Weaver. 
We finish our visit to Jose Marti Park watching Melba Vicente's Miss Dominican Republic. The Falls is both the name and the description of a shopping complex in metropolitan Dade County, where at one of several lagoons we find Miss Cayman Islands, Emily Hurlston, and wearing a lattice side tank suit, young Oak Choi, who is Miss Korea. A polka dot umbrella leads us to Miss Cyprus, Andre Andreu. And the water's a little cool for Miss Portugal, Alexandra Mota Gomez. What are these three young ladies keeping under their hats? Three pretty faces. Miss France is Suzanne Iskandar, Miss Malta is Fiona Micolif, and Miss Brazil is Marcia Jajo Canaveses. These back-to-back -back beauties are Miss Haiti, Ariel Jonti, and Julia Mora, Miss El Salvador. The swimming pool at the Key Biscayne Hotel and Villas is Olympic size and like the Olympics attracts swimmers from all over the world. For example, Carmel Ann Vaghi, Miss Papua New Guinea, and Jackie Hendry, a bonnie lassie who is Miss Scotland. The mast is that of the USS Flirt and at a replica of it is Miss Venezuela, Silvia Martinez, and on the stern is Yolanda Cardinas Aviles, Miss Mexico. This twosome is Jennifer Leonora Penn, Miss British Virgin Islands, and Miss Barbados, Elizabeth Wadman. Modeling her swimsuit of spandex and lace for us is Miss Australia, Elizabeth Bowley, whose audience also includes Miss Cook Islands, Essie Mokutupu, and Janelle Ford, Miss Bermuda. The marina at Monte Trainer's restaurant provides a safe haven for trim boats and a backdrop for trim young contestants like this one. Miss Chile, Claudia Van Sintion, and her fellow crew member and sunbather, Miss Sri Lanka, Ramani Elizabeth Bartholomew. It's sunglasses up for Miss Iceland, Hala Brindis. It takes something called the right stuff to carry Miss Universe to the top, and it takes a boat called the right stuff to carry our contestants here, where we find two oriental beauties, Miss Singapore, Liana Chuck, and Miss Japan, Hatsumi Furusawa. The boats in the marina seem to have the attention of Miss Honduras, Diana Garcia, while fishing in a cheetah print suit is Miss Zaire, Benita Mareka Tete. Keeping a sharp lookout and a sharp look is Miss Belgium, and Vandenbroek. The Atlantic Ocean and beautiful palm trees surround the pool at the Ocean Reef Club in the beautiful Florida Keys. And from that pool comes this lovely senorita, Miss Spain, Teresa Sanchez. Who wouldn't want to be saved by such lovely lifeguards as Antoinette Flores, Miss Northern Marianas, and Martina Haydn, who is Miss Austria. This tropical setting seems appropriate for Miss Tahiti, Hinari Killian. In her zigzag stripe, high thigh suit, the bubbling waters attract Miss Dominica, Margaret Rose Latif. Europe and Asia clink glasses at a poolside table. Miss Germany is Stephanie Roth, and Joyce Filiosas Burton is Miss Philippines. Meanwhile, another group mixes the sun, the sand, and the shade of the palm trees. Here is Baturu Jalo, Miss Gambia, Miss Hong Kong, Charlene Che, and Miss Bahamas, Cleopatra Adderley. It's anything but a Scandinavian setting for Miss Norway, Karen Moo, and a match of colors in flower and swimsuit for Miss Guatemala, Perla Freda. From behind this huge flower pot and from South America and Europe come Shanina Castaño, Miss Argentina, and Karina Marklin, Miss Sweden. A colorful pool at one of the private homes at Ocean Reef is enhanced by some flower petals and some lovely ladies like Miss Colombia, Sandra Borda. From the Mideast to Florida has come Miss Israel, Hila Kelman, a pretty flower for pretty Miss Canada, Karen Tilly, and for Miss Réunion, Dominique Delors Serignon. And it's at this pool that we meet our final twosome of Joyce Sahab, Miss Lebanon, and in her mitered striped suit, Miss England, Helen Westlake. Now we're right back where we started our fashion segment, aboard the MS Holiday where the water doesn't make big waves, but the contestants do, as they send an international hello to everyone from the 1985 Miss Universe pageant.
those lovely young women that you've just seen is going to become Miss Universe 1985. And she'll do it by the votes of that distinguished panel of celebrity judges you see right behind me. We're going to be telling you more about them later on. Each judge is linked to our master computer by means of a terminal, just like this one right here. During our areas of competition, which is personal interviews, swimsuits, and evening gowns, each judge will give each contestant a score. It could be anywhere from, say, a 1 to a 9.99. That figure then goes into our computer system right here, which averages the judges' votes and tabulates each young lady's score. And you're gonna see those scores on your home screens throughout the evening. Those scores will not be seen here in this theater. The contestants up there won't know, not even the judges behind me will know, just you and me. And we'll even review the scores after each competition. So, have you already picked out several of our contestants as your favorites? Well, you're gonna find out what kind of an armchair judge you are when Bob announces our semifinalists right after this word from Cam A.